now uh, this is uh, objective solved example question number 31 now in this uh, question we have to count how many squares how many rectangles are there in the grid in the given grid of size uh, in the question uh, uh, it is uh, i think 9 by 6 the grid of 9 by 6 we have to count how many uh, rectangles are there in the grid of size 9 by 6 but i'm taking an example 3 by five so that uh, you can understand the concept and once understood you can apply the concept there so uh, let's see how we count uh, rectangles right and and we have to count rectangles excluding square so first of all let's see how to count number of squares in this grid so first of all we count those squares which are of size one right we say size one one unit length so we start from this this is the first square right second square third square fourth square fifth square five squares are there in first row now uh, mm, so we say five in first row right and uh, right and uh, what about and how many how many rows are there uh, we have like um, three rows are there so so three into five of size one if we generalize this it is uh, suppose this is m this is n m into n oh sorry oh yes m into n then size two squares so we counted all these squares right fifteen squares now size two square means like this a few side length to size 2 so 1 2 we go in fir first row which is of length unit 2 first second and third and fourth so basically last square will will st count the last square from this point first from this point last from this point so you can see first first second third and fourth square fourth squares so 4 into will come down then size 2 we'll start from we started from this first line and we'll start from second line first square second square third square fourth square right so so right so again four squares so when you move horizontally we have squares are four so we have four squares four square how many times four squares so only two times eight if you generalize this this is uh, m right this is n now we need to see uh, sorry this is m is 3 and n is 5 so this is n we went into the n direction so it is n minus 1 n minus 1 into m minus 1 it is like this this is n this is m right so n minus 1 that is 4 m minus 1 that is 3 that is 2 right so so m minus 1 because we are starting from this and going till this point so we are counting one less right m, m boxes are there we are counting one less similarly we are coming down like this size 2 size 3 sorry size 3 square size 3 is 1 2 and 3 so three squares and how many ho how many horizontal rows only one so it is basically n minus 2 into m minus 2 right so number of squares is like 15 plus 8 plus 3 26 now we can generalize this formula size 1 squares m into n size 2 squares m minus 1 into n minus 1 m minus 2 into n minus 2 goes on now till till what time it will go on like this till one of them becomes 1 either m minus 1 n minus 1 becomes 1 right so uh, the formula becomes m plus 1 minus r into n plus 1 minus r 
r varies from 1 right to till what point so to m or n which one is the smaller of the two to the smaller of the two m or n which one is the smaller till the smaller of the two so this is how we count number of squares if you have to count number of rectangles see that we follow a diff little different approach now suppose these are four lines five lines and these are six lines horizontally these are five lines uh, sorry vertically these are five lines five vertical lines six horizontal lines these are six these are five now rectangle uh, is easy to find because what we'll do we'll apply this approach we choose any two line any two horizontal lines we can do it in 62 ways choose any two vertical lines 5c2 right we can do this job together in this much number of ways choosing two vertical lines as well as choosing two horizontal lines this job number of ways to perform this job choosing two different lines horizontally and two different lines two vertical two different vertical lines in this much number of ways now this will give us number of rectangles which also in include number of uh, squares inside number of rectangles this gives number of rectangles why because we are choosing suppose you choose these two lines and you choose these two lines two horizontal line two vertical lines means you have chosen this rectangle another example you choose two extreme lines on this side and two extreme lines on this side so it means you get you got this biggest rectangle on this grid you choose these two lines horizontally and these two lines vertically you get this rectangle so every way of choosing two horizontal lines two vertical lines will give us a rectangle so total number of rectangles are these now what this rectangle also includes the square of all sizes so if we have to find rectangles only rectangles without squares and again let's take the dimension given in the uh, question right nine uh, let me check yes nine into six nine into six you can see when we uh, 9 into 6 9 into 6 is a grid size so number of lines would be more so 10 uh, horizontal lines and 7 vertical lines this much number of lines uh, sorry 10 7 so number of rectangles is 10 c2 into 7 c2 i hope it is clear because grid size is 9 9 like this 9 these are rows so these are these are rows these are these are rows one two three but lines are one more line uh, we'll have more one lines because because we're counting this, these things but lines would be one more because we start from a line before and we go a line after so this much like number of rectangles are found uh, with with this grid size minus the squares and squares we just analyzed it is uh, mm, it is summation of Right, we saw this formula. This, uh, let me write here minus summation of nine plus one minus r uh, six plus one minus r, where r varies from one until the lesser of the two values six. Right, so minus this is ten minus r into seven minus r r varies from 1 to 6 now you can do the calculations right 9 into 10 into 9 divided into 2 into 7 into 6 divided by 2 minus this will give you number of rectangles